Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? Coming back at you. Hoping everybody today is uh, Monday. Hoping everybody's having a blessed Monday. <sighs> Tired. Just trying to get my rest in. Uh, it don't feel too bad up here today. It's not super, super hot. It's a little breezy. Feels great. It's actually just right. But I'm hoping everybody is doing okay. Hoping everybody is wearing their masks, practicing social distancing, washing your hands. 20 seconds. Make sure you wash those hands for 20 seconds and get under those fingernails. <laughs> um, I'm, I don't know if you guys have heard about um, Tamar Braxton. Um, she's been in the news the last couple of days. Um, she's um, in the hospital um, um, because um, apparently she attempted suicide. Um, she's dealing with some depression and, um, she, I guess, has, took some alcohol and some pills. You know, everybody knows that alcohol and pills don't mix and kind of overdosed and, um, her boyfriend found her unresponsive. And so just keep your prayers going up for Tamar Braxton. Hopefully she has, uh, has a speedy recovery and she recovers and get the help that she needs. Um, that being said, um, they say um, that we, they say that we should check on our strong friends. Um, because a lot of people didn't see this coming with her. They didn't see, it, you know, they thought everything was okay. She put something on Twitter, kind of indicated that she, you know, was de dealing with some depression. And a lot of people didn't see it coming because they, you know, they look at her as this funny, you know, she's funny and, you know, how she, you know, how she, it, it, you know, if you know Tamar Braxton, you know how she is. And so a lot of people didn't see this coming with her. And that's what they say, you know, that um, we need to check on our strong friends, you know, and that is a good point. We need to check on our strong friends. Um, I'm going to do another video talking about suicide and depression. Um, but us as black people in particular, as, as black people, we, we feel like we always have to be strong all the time. And in a sense, yes, we do have to be strong, but we forget, we forget sometimes that we're human. At the end of the day, we're human and we're just like everybody else, you know, and things affect us, um, we're living in some stressful times right now with the pandemic going on, all this racial stuff going on in the country. You know, it's it's a we, we're in some very stressful times right now. Everybody, you know, the economy is is uh, messed up. Everybody's having money problems, financial problems because people have lost their jobs and uh, essential workers still having to work and put themselves at risk. And it's so much going on now in the system right now. And, you know, the system is coming to an end. So um, that's why all this is going on. But um, it's just so stressful right now. I mean, we're living this. Even the celebrities are suffering right now because of the pandemic and everything shut down and even Hollywood shut down. So it's a lot of them that are, that are struggling as well. And um, if you, if you, if you got expensive, you like if you got an expensive house, expensive cars and stuff, well, it costs money to keep that stuff maintained. And if you don't have a regular income coming in, then, um, but she was saying something about um, stuff going on with WeTV. She's upset because the Braxton family values don't get uh, the same billing as the Kardashians and stuff like that. But um, it's, it's a lot of people, like I said, did not see this coming with her. And I think that's the case with a lot of black people is that, like I said, we are we are expected. It is expected of us to be strong. We it is literally, particularly black women. And I did a video like years ago. I'm gonna revisit that topic. And I was was stating that the strong black woman theory is overrated. And I'm actually gonna revisit that topic. Um, the, the strong black woman theory is way overrated. And and and. You know, we we suffer from depression too. We probably suffer from depression and stress and anxiety more so than anybody else because, on top of everything else that's going on in the world, we still have to deal with all these racial issues and stuff, and 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 it's 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 very stressful. Um, if if you don't 
if you if you don't know how to manage the, the key is being able to manage the, the stress being able to deal with the challenges that's coming into come in your way and the, the main thing we can do is we we can rely on god you know god can help us get through all this stuff but if you don't have a strong relationship with god you know it's hard to navigate through all this stuff and i know a lot of strong people um whether it's male or female um they strong i mean because i'm i consider myself a strong person i've always kind of been a strong person i've suffered from depression you know i kind of go through it off and on in the winter time i get worse summertime i feel a lot better in the winter time i think i have that seasonal thing because in the winter time i get really depressed so i i get bouts of depression and there were times in my life where i thought about suicide i thought about it never attempted it and um you know, I consider myself a pretty strong person for the most part, mentally. Um, but sometimes, I know sometimes um, I, I've, I have internalized stuff. You know, sometimes something really bad, would, something bad would happen and um, I, I wouldn't um, cry about it. But I just, I was upset about it, but I didn't cry about it. So I kind of like internalized it. And sometimes when you do that, it builds, what happens is it builds up. When strong people have the tendency to internalize stuff. Because, you know, you go through stuff and then you, you know, you don't cry, you don't react to it. You just kind of suck it up and, you know, you, you upset, but then you kind of suck it up and just kind of keep it moving. Well, it, 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 after a while... It, it kind of builds up. It all builds up to one day you just have this big breakdown. And then people, then you, when you have a big break, a breakdown, people don't, people don't see it coming because they look at you as this strong person. And, and that, is, that is expected of all of us black people, particularly black women, you know, because we, we're always holding everything down. And so it, it is part of our, our community that like we are expected to be so strong. But at the end of the day, we're human. And so even if we are strong, strong people break too. And that's something a lot of people got to realize. Strong people are human, just like everybody else. Strong people suffer from depression. and But a lot of times it's internalized. Into the, and it builds up and then it's a big breakdown. And then everybody's shocked. So that's why they say, check on your strong friends. Check on your strong friends because they could really be going through something. And because everybody has this expectation that they're so strong, they don't, they, they figure you're strong so they don't check in on you. They don't ask you how you're doing and they don't ask you, and they say ask the deep questions. They say dig a little deeper when you're checking on your strong friends. Dig a little deeper. And, and so a lot of times, because they, they figure you're a strong person. And um, it's between that and having the expectation that you should be strong because you are a black woman or a black man. Then, you know, you it's not a lot of people that you can talk to because people have that expectation. So, you know, it, when, you, when you do talk about uh, being depressed or something like that, it's brushed off. There were times where I tried to discuss of, um, of my depression with certain people and it was brushed off like it was no big deal or I wasn't told to suck it up, suck it up but in so many words I was told that or it was insinuated because that's the that's the expectation because they know that you are a strong person they expect it's between that and you being black they expect for you to be the strong person they expect for you to not go through depression it, but everybody is going through something everybody goes through depression i don't care who you are what race you are and and particularly the times that we're we're living in right now man we're living in some perilous times with and and, and people are having a lot of anxiety all those things are normal and then particularly if uh christians if if we're christians christians are really expected to be a pillar of strength because you know, because of the fact that we are trying to have a relationship with God, but at the end of the day, we are still human, you know. Yes, does God help us? Yes, he does. He helps me a lot, but I have my moments. Because even Christians commit suicide. And it's because 
you know, sometimes people are overly critical of people that are Christians. They are overly critical, you know, and, and, and they expect people, because they are Christian, they expect them to be this pillar of strength. But at the end of the day, we are human. And it is normal to have anxiety right now. It is normal to have impression, depression right now. Look at the times that we're living in. Look at all the things that's going on in the world right now. Okay, so if you don't have no way to manage that, and and you don't you don't if you're if you're not managing that and, you, and you're channeling, channeling those things in other ways, it could take a toll on you emotionally. And then, like I say, strong people had a tendency to internalize things, because I consider myself a strong person, and I I had a tendency to do that. Until so one day, I mean, there's times where I've I've. I've, I've, you know, had breakdowns, you know, not really major breakdowns, but many breakdowns because of just holding things in, you know. And so sometimes you can hold it in to the point to where you have a big major breakdown. And I think that's might have been what might have happened with Tamar Braxton. She might have kept holding in, internalizing it, holding in, internalizing it, not talking to nobody, you know, nothing like that. Maybe, maybe not being able to talk to anybody about it. And then it just all came to a head, and she had this big old huge breakdown. So that's what they say, check on your strong friends, because a lot of times strong people internalize things and they don't talk about it. Sometimes they won't talk about what's going on, you know? And they say ask, ask, ask the more intense questions with them. Dig a little deeper. But you have to care enough to do that. Get rid of your own biasness. Get rid of your own expectations of this person and realize that, hey, I love this person. I care about this person. I want to check on them and, and make sure they're really okay. And so that's what we need to do. We need to check on everybody, but particularly check on your strong friends. Because strong people break too. Strong people break too. Strong people are human. Strong people break too. So that's what I want to say. Give you something to think about, something to consider. We need to be checking on everybody right now in this time period. We really need to be checking on our strong friends. Okay? Stay tuned. I got another video I got coming up. I'm going to talk about depression and suicide. So stay tuned. Um, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And hit that notification bell. All right. I'm coming back at you. This is Sweet June. Peace and love.